Today, Israel said its fighter jets took aim at Hezbollah targets across southern Lebanon. The barrage follows a week of violence and exchange of fire, fueling fears of a rapidly escalating regional conflict. CBS's Chris Livesay has the latest. Good evening. It's been a week of crippling blows for Hezbollah. First, it was the exploding pagers and walkie talkies. Then the killing of a top commander. Israel says it's shifting its military focus towards Hezbollah and away from Hamas. But Gaza remains deadly. In Beirut, first responders combed through the chaos to find survivors yesterday. The target, Hezbollah commander Ibrahim Akil, wanted by the U.S. for his role in two bombings in 1983 that killed more than 300 people at the U.S. Embassy in Beirut and the U.S. Marine Corps barracks. This morning, Hezbollah announced it was also mourning more than a dozen other militants killed in the blast. It's the latest in an escalation between Israel and Hezbollah. After exploding beepers and walkie-talkies killed dozens and injured thousands. An escalation we witnessed from Israel's northern border with Lebanon. So is that Iron Dome intercepting those rockets? Yes, keep on going. All right, so those are rockets being intercepted by Israel. Rockets flying from just over there on the Lebanese side of the border from Hezbollah into Israel. It appears they're being intercepted by Israel's Iron Dome defenses. This is the village of Margaliot, population 450. But with Hezbollah territory just a few hundred yards away, Yoni Akobi and his family are among the handful of residents left. You can see, nobody. It's a ghost town. Ghost town. The rest have joined the almost 70,000 Israelis forced to flee the northern border. This week, the military made bringing them home an official aim of the war and hit back today, targeting southern Lebanon with waves of airstrikes and artillery. But Israel hasn't forgotten about Gaza. Today, the Hamas-run health ministry said at least 22 people died after a strike on a UN school, half of them children. A pregnant woman was reportedly among those killed. Israel said the school had been turned into a Hamas command center. U.S. National Security Advisor Jake Sullivan called the killing of that top Hezbollah commander, quote, a good outcome, Nancy, noting Akil had American blood on his hands, but he called the escalation between Israel and Hezbollah worrying. Chris Lipsay, thank you.